What do you notice about the picture? Mariana? That it's like they're at, um, at a fire drill, so, when, so probably so you don't get lost, you have to hold your, your friend's hand. Okay, can anyone else share with you what they notice? Uh, Ricardo? The tree's so big and wide. Why do you say that? around the tree is. I there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. I kind of look for the people. Seven. So then there's eight, eight nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Okay, so, so far, there's 15. Can I draw the 15? Can you write 15? What two numbers make 15? A one five, and five. One and five. five. Okay, so first the one. And then, oh, I like how you're making that five. So curve it around. Thank you. Okay, so we've got the 15. But do we measure the whole tree? Yes. <gasps> no, we didn't go all the way around. No, we okay. didn't go all the way around. How much of the tree have we measured? What do you think? Um, we only finished all of the front of the, all the front area of this. Okay. So but out the back of more people, but we did get the people the, on the other side of the people, maybe there's like 200. <clears throat> Let's see. Hold on. Don't write 200 yet because I want us to think a little bit. You're right that we only got the front, but let's see if we can think about what would make sense as an approximate number of people. How much of our tree have we measured? Um, half of the tree. Maybe we could... and I saw this, here's what I was thinking. I thought, hmm, it certainly looks big. And I see that it looks big. I wonder, is that just the picture? Are they just trying to trick us? Are there really trees outside that would be 30 people around? Because I actually did what Sarah did too. I took kind of the 15 at the front, and I thought, okay, if one side in the front is 15, then the other side in the back should also be about 15, which means we should have about 30. And I did the same thinking, but I kind of wondered. So, what could I have done to figure out if other trees might be like 30 people around? What could I choose to do? Measure it. But how would I measure the number of people around the tree was? Um. Wait, no, I want words. How would I measure the number of people around a tree is? You can, like, uh, count up by twos and find out what number it is, really, and then you'll know what number it is, then 30. Right, except I wanted to know if other trees were 30. So what would I have had to do to figure out if other trees were 30 around? Two. <coughs> 
Oh, but they're over here. They're not close to our tree to get the thing. You're right. There is another kid coming. But I'm thinking, how could I find out if other trees are about 30 kids around? What would I have had to do? Count. Um, but how would I have counted? Um, um, by tens of two. Okay, but what would I have had to do to find out how many people... If I, I look at this tree and I'm like, wow, there's 30 kids basically that go around this tree. But I'm thinking to myself, hmm, I wonder if other trees are really as big as this tree. Get a measuring tape and measure it and see but, um, what number it gets to. Okay, but I didn't measure this tree with a measuring tape. How did I measure that tree? We counted. With, how did I measure the people? So if I were to find out how big other trees are and compare them, what would I have to do? So I was I was kind of on my own on the weekend, so I didn't have people, but I did do something, and it's kind of funny. But I wanted to really see if a tree was as big, so I went out in the front yard, and I basically hugged a tree <laughs> to see how many people around it would be, and it looked kind of silly and ridiculous. And if other people were watching, they probably would have laughed. But that was my only way of figuring out if any trees were as big as this one. So 